Hi there, it's uh, Kim Arts. I'm out here on uh, Prospect High Head. It's a natural reserve. You can see me over here, hello. Uh, yesterday I was on the other side, which is sort of considered the gentle side. Um, this is a bit more rustic, I guess, sheer. See, here's my painting setup, my chair. Walk down here and not trip, because uh, tripping here is not nice. This is uh, the cliff side. I think it's about 100 feet down. Wouldn't be a good landing. So anyway, here is uh, the scene I'm painting right now. I started this morning about 7 a.m., 8 a.m. Hiked out here. This is my painting that I'm working on. So I sort of laid it in roughly early in the morning. Yesterday there was a sort of fog that burned off. Today the lighting has been pretty consistent. So I just sort of laid all the colors in, laid in roughly. I'm sort of just playing with the colors, sort of tonality, creating some perspective. As you can see, it's a pretty stark view. Basically, what you see beyond is the Atlantic. So this is one of the farthest points of land in this area. Basically, if you go down that way past those islands, you can sail straight right down to uh, Mahone Bay and the South Shore without having to uh, reach out, go out into the ocean very much. You could just do a straight sail. And this here, I'm panning down, that's uh, the inner gull rock. That's the outer gull rock. A lot of boats sail through here. These are kind of pretty famous rocks around here. A lot of people use them for navigation, wayfinding in the when you get stormy weather. They're kind of the, the postmarks of how you get out of this bay, Shad Bay, which is in there. Uh, this one, this island has mostly seagulls, and this one is mostly what are colloquially known as shags, but basically they're comrades. So often this is called shag rock by the local inhabitants. Uh, those are the islands, outer islands, Blind Bay. So basically, I think today uh, I've, I'm going to finish this painting down here and then uh, sort of deciding right now what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to walk down that trail down there. You can see some people walking down. This is a pretty popular hiking trail. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to walk down there or if I'm going to paint down this area down here. I've painted, come up here and painted quite a few times. But what I haven't painted, usually I paint facing outward and I'm sort of thinking about painting, uh, uh, doing a painting of facing inward into the bay. I kind of like the angle of it. It's a pretty quiet day, which is sort of nice, but I'm sort of hoping that maybe the fetch will build up a little bit so you get a bit more. You know, you're getting a little bit of action on the waves down here, but it's nothing like what it can be. It gets very dramatic. Um, so it's sort of nice to find that balance between having some wave action and also uh, not having all my stuff blown around. <laughs> so, 
basically this place here for me is uh, it's a kind of even though you get pikers coming up through here it's it's, it's not uh, like Peggy's Cove where you get a lot of people coming out it's fairly quiet the trail is pretty easy to walk down as you can see those people but it's it's a bumpy trail and it's a it's probably about a 20 minute hike up into there out beyond those lands that head there of trees there's a you can basically walk all the way around to Prospect Village where I was yesterday so um, you know it's it, it's still it's a fairly secluded spot not too many people know about it um, and I kind of like coming out here because it is peaceful it was blocked off during the COVID for a little while, a few days, a few weeks, but uh, it's all opened back up again here. So I'm going to continue painting today. Hopefully I can give another update on what's going on. So we will talk again soon. So... This uh, is the scene I've been painting uh, this afternoon, sort of the way the, uh, it's the way into Shad Bay. This is the inner gull rock, which is this little sort of chunk of rock sticking out of the water with a bit of grass growing on it. It used to when I was a kid, I used to have a lot more trees on it, but it's just slowly wearing away. Uh, again, the quiet day. Bit of a wash, which is kind of nice for the painting. I've been working on this painting here. A little small one. And uh, just sort of laying it in, getting the, uh, the tonal values in. So I'm probably going to work on this for about another hour. And a lot of people have been coming up here lately, so it's kind of been interesting. Sort of everybody's keeping their distance, but they're coming up and saying hi. I think everybody's feeling very talkative after the last couple of months, so that's kind of nice. See some clouds there pulling in. I'm uh, going to bring some of those into the painting as soon as they come in. It almost looks like uh, coming out here there's a fog coming in. So probably the day is going to change. I'll probably uh, finish up here after I finish this painting up. You can see that little line below the horizon is sort of working its way in slowly. If it comes in, you wouldn't be able to see anything past about five or six feet. And it's sort of funny. I think it's probably holding out there just because of the uh, the um, the heat, because it's uh, quite warm inland. It's not too bad out here, but uh, I think the heat's keeping it off. Also, though, the heat's heating up the water. I think that's what's bringing up the fog. So anyway, this is probably my last painting for today. Um, again, I was sort of hoping that the waves would pick up a little bit more, but still getting a little bit of a wash over the rocks, which kind of brings in a nice contrast on the painting. Sort of just working those little waves in there. I'm working on a small one. I usually like doing small paintings. That allows me to sort of get them in quickly and I kind of like the uh, intimacy of them. Uh, they also allows me to paint them a little quicker. When I'm out plein air, I get more, more paintings done. So, that is, I think, about it for uh, today. I think I'll have everything finished up and uh, get this video uploaded. Anyway, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.